Number 37. Indicate the SI base units or derived units that are appropriate for the following measurements. I see that we have A through G here, so let's just write out that alphabet. <laughs> A, B, C. I feel like Nicolas Cage in that movie. It's like A, B, C. That's okay. <laughs> A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Okay. So I gave you the chart that's in your textbook for the base units and just know that base units are the standard units used in the SI system. So this system is very famous all over the world uses this this system and we use it in the United States for sciences. So I gave a big rundown last time as to the base units, the SI unit systems. So go check out number 36 if you want the overall rundown. I'm just going to put over here that they did leave out two um, properties. So I'm just going to write them over here. They forgot volume and they forgot density. How could you forget volume and density? Volume is meters cubed. So meters to the third. And that's because when you find a volume especially for like a cube or um, something that you could actually measure with uh, like a meter stick or a ruler stick. It's always length times width times height. So if your length is in meters, the base unit is in meters, it would be meter times meter times meter. And that's how you get one, two, three meters cubed. Density is gram per centimeter cubed. So it's G slash CM cubed. Now I would highly recommend memorizing and understanding these base units. So that's this and the derived units are anything with the prefixes. So for example, the length, the base unit would be a meter so a derived unit would be your kilometer, your centimeter, your millimeter, anything with those prefixes. So those are your derived units. Okay, so A, we want to find out the mass of the moon. Well, mass is represented in kilogram. That's a huge unit. So that's pretty respectable. So A would be kilogram. B, the distance from Dallas to Oklahoma City. That's a huge distance. You're going over two um, states. So you're from Texas, which is Dallas, and you're moving to Oklahoma City, which is in Oklahoma. So it's a huge distance. So do you think that just meter, which is the unit for length, and that's disguised as distance. Distance is just a length. So do you think that meter would suffice? Would meter be big enough to tackle the huge distance from Dallas to Oklahoma City? No. This one, we would probably have to use a derived unit. So I'm going to put meter here, but we should talk about the bigger one, which would be kilometer or kilometer, whichever one that you prefer saying. C. The speed of sound. So just know I'm going to put over here, speed is a distance divided by time. And we said in the question before that a distance was just a length. And length, the SI unit, is meter. So that answers the top part. But now what is going to be the unit for the bottom part? It has to be time. Oh, time, the SI unit is seconds. So for speed, it's meters per second. So that would be the answer for C. For D, the density of air, density all the way down here, density is always going to be grams per kilometers, ooh, grams per centimeters cubed. So that would be the answer for D, grams per centimeters cubed. E, the temperature at which alcohol boils. The temperature um, SI unit is Kelvin. So that's 
capital K. So it's not Fahrenheit, it's not Celsius, and if you notice, I said this in the last question, but if you notice, there's no degree sign here for Kelvin. For Kelvin, there is absolutely no degree sign. For Fahrenheit and Celsius, there are, but please do not write a degree sign. I know a lot of professors will be kind of irked at that. They'll kind of mark off a couple of points there. So get rid of the degree sign. No degree with, Kel with Kelvin. Next, F, the area of the state of Delaware. Okay, so area, what's the formula for area? Area is length times width. So length and width, that's kind of like a distance, and length is right here, right? The unit for length is meter. So it would be M times width is just another way of looking at a length, just at a different point of view. So it would be another meter. So what do you get when you times two M's together? M squared, and that would be the unit for area. So if you want to add that to your list, be my guest. So just like volume is meters cubed, area is meters squared. So that would be the answer for F. And then G, the volume of a flu shot or a measles vaccination. This would be the standard SI unit is meters cubed. So that would go here. All right, guys. I hope this helped out a lot. If it did, click that subscribe button because we'll be giving you tons of answers you don't want to miss out. And in other news, I'll see you all in the next lesson. Take care now. Bye-bye.